seed sowing. Number two, seed sowing. Genesis chapter 8, verse 22. I will just show you two. Genesis 8. I think I don't stress this last two, so I will just. Let me see how I Genesis 8 22. Why the earth remain? And heat. I am And shall not what? Shall not see it. Let's look at the chapter 9. Second Corinthians chapter 9. Second Corinthians 9 verse 6. Are we, are we there? Hallelujah, are we there? Second chapter 9 verse 6. The Bible said, But this I say, He which sweat sparingly shall reap also what? Sparingly. And he that soweth bountifully shall also reap what? Bountifully. Hold on. He that soweth sparingly. And that scripture verse said, He that soweth little will reap little. He is God. What it does not matter. It's true. But he's telling you that the size of your seed can also what? Show your what? Your harvest. And this seed sowing is in two ways. One is also about sowing one to the anointed. Two. Swing to God's work and three, swing to the, your business. I think I've explained swing into the anointed, I've explained swing into the ministry. Let me talk about swing into your business. That's why I'm telling some of you that you want to start a business. You should stop thinking about starting a business of 100,000. Because when you start a business of 100,000, why that business will suddenly give you 10 million? The business will give you according to what? Its capacity. Are you understanding me? So instead, start a business of a hundred million. But sometimes the business of a hundred million does not mean that the entire hundred million will come. That is why I say, see, in this kingdom, you have to understand the way this thing works, and you have to understand the hand of God. So now, what you have for this project, this business to work, is a hundred million. You've prayed, you sought that God, and you are ready to start. But the only money you have in your account. Is five hundred thousand? Is two hundred thousand? Many of you will not do anything until you have hundred million. That's not how it works in the kingdom. The principle was: What do you have? What in your hand? When you now tell God, "This is what I have in my hand," you start with it, and you will be shocked that before you raise your hand, the entire money you need for the project has come. That's why, for instance, our hall. We are paying 600,000 for it. And the money I deposited was 40,000 naira. Who does that? Somebody else will say, okay, let's wait till we have the home money. It does not work that way. The home money will not come. Are you understanding what I'm saying? The home money will not come. So, sir, what we have now is 50,000. Can I deposit it? That's how you even buy land. That's why you buy this thing by the prophetic word. Go and get a land. How much is the land? 15 million. You walk up to them. What you have now is 1 million. Yes, sir. Can I be paying you 1 million every three months? If the person he accepts, and imagine you don't know why he's accepting, it's because you are not just buying with money, you're also buying with favor. So you give him 1 million and you sign a contract of sale. And before you raise your hand, dead up, the man of sale said that in 8 months the land becomes yours. But you shock you that in 3 months you put it. Why? Because you started. You've broken the seed. Are you understanding what I'm saying about? I'm talking about. Because this seed so in most times, many of you just think it's only one. It's not just one-way traffic. So we sow to the anointed. We sow into the ministry. And we still do what? We still sow into our business. So of you, the way you have to sow your business now is go and get another course. If you're a career person, by now you should be doing your master's. Or doing an advanced learning. Some of you now may need to look for a school abroad and register for. Do you understand what I'm saying? You need to break this thing down. See, so it works. So. When you push into the spirit, you now press also in the physical. The reason why the physical will open is because you've opened the door in the spirit. Yes. I know. 
understanding me? The reason why the physical must obey you is because what? You push the door here yeah, in the spirit. So I have to teach you a balancing swing. That when you are done swing into when the spirit of God sold a hundred thousand into the church, what did I tell you? I said, what apply for a new job? I said, what and apply? What apply? And they must give it to you. And I told him, it is not up to this amount. Don't take it. Because I know what God can do. Why? He has pushed the door this way. This other one was open. It's not possible to go open. The man of God was telling me what to do. I said, wait, do, before I take that step, come and see me. Do you know what I'm to come and see me? Because I, I know it. I can see ahead. I can tell them what to do. And it must work. Mm. It must work. It must work. It can't fail. So I'm teaching them. I'm teaching you. As you push this way, also what? Push this way. Because you always come in what you are doing with your hands. So you must create room for harvest. Tell your neighbor, create room for harvest. If you give spangly, you will what? Reap spangly. If you give bountifully, you will do what? You will reap what? Bountifully. As long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest can never cease. It can never cease. Physical law of God. Hope you are being blessed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Should I change the topic? Or is going deep? Yes, sir. 